Hello my loves, it has come the time for me to talk about the things that I have been loving over the past month. Just things that have been making my quality of life a better quality of life. First and foremost, shall we notice the fact that I am in a completely different setup? This is my new loft. I moved here a little bit over a month ago and basically my rent was up so I had to move. So this is my new place. I'm absolutely freaking obsessed with it. I wake up every single morning and I'm like, how did I get here? I don't really know. Um, I mean, I know how, obviously, but you get what I'm saying. Leave me a comment below if you guys want to see a house tour, um, because I just did a house tour for my other house, so I don't really... Basically, I got a cat right before Coachella. Is that weird that I associate things as, like, pre-Coachella? It's, like, before Christ, after Christ, before Coachella, after Coachella. Basically, I got a cat in April. Her name is Electra. I don't call her Electra. I call her Zyka, which is, like, the Russian cute little pet name for baby bunny. She has two different colored eyes, one brown eye and one blue eye, and no, she's not blind or deaf. She, she's fully capable of all sensory stimulation. You still a Tilda. My angel. By the way, if you have any cat tips, leave them in the comments below. If you can recommend like a cat litter or a cat toy or cat condo, leave it in the comments below. I really, really genuinely greatly appreciate them. Let's address beauty products first, shall we? I don't know if you guys resonate with the feeling of like getting out of the shower and your legs feeling like they're crackling and falling off because they're so damn dry. This body lotion has literally saved my butt this past month. It's by EOS. Everybody knows EOS. Everybody loves EOS. Evolution is smooth and it's called Delicate Petals Body Lotion. The smell is so nostalgic for me. I can't really pinpoint what it is. It smells like gardens back in Russia. Like I can't really... It just smells amazing, basically. And it's incredible at hydrating my skin. Immediately when I get out of the shower and I feel like my legs are falling off and all of my body parts are falling off because they're so stripped of the moisture, I quickly just slather this all over my body. And it says here that it's enriched with shea butter, vitamin E, and avocado oil. That's why I'm attracted to it. Avocado oil. Californians and their avocado. If you're somebody that struggles with incredibly dry skin, highly recommend this because it's saved my bum. And it just feels really nice. It's like some creams are super oily or like super thick so that they don't really absorb. This absorbs super fast. So my skin has been looking absolutely flawless. And I say this like a normal person says my skin is flawless and you think yeah whatever shut up. No, my skin has been horrible my entire life. I do things every single day to make sure that my skin does not go back to being horrible. If I let myself go, my skin looks horrible. So I wanted to share with you guys the products that I've been using. I can't pinpoint one exact product because I continuously try new things. What I can do is just show you guys everything that I've been using this past month. So it's got to be one of these or all of these. I don't know. Can you hear it? So I've been trying two new Glam Glow masks this past month. Um, one of them has been the Glam Glow Youth Mud whoa, Tingle Exfoliate, that is one word, treatment. So basically this is like kind of a clay mask. You put it on your skin, when you apply the mask, it first exfoliates your skin, you leave it on, it tingles for like five minutes, and then you leave it on for like 15 minutes. So this is a really good mask if you have closed comedones, if you like mud masks, if they work for your skin, this is a really good mask to try. Um, also, this mask I want to show you guys. I'm actually going to insert a clip of what this mask looks like on my face because I simply cannot not do this. It is called the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. This is the most kick ass mask in the entire world. It comes with a brush, it's also by Glam Glow. It's hydrating and it's firming, so that kind of works. Honestly, I just like to apply it because it smells incredible. And this is actually a mask that I got in Greece. I was in Greece a couple weeks ago and it's by Shishay. By Shish. Shishado? Shishado. Shishado. This is actually a sleeping mask. It's a hydrating sleeping mask. So after I do a mask like this, before I go to sleep, I sleep in this mask. The time I wake up with this mask, it has already absorbed into my skin and hydrated my skin, so I wake up with like baby face, pretty much. Okay, so moving on, should we talk about things that are super, super exciting to talk about? Like, I don't know, food. This is, if you follow the food, nutrition, scene, paleo, vegan, raw vegan, I've been into diets since I was 10 years old. It's a horrible thing to admit, but nutrition, dieting, healthcare, uh, anything from that to like cancer and stem cells and all that stuff has been incredibly intriguing to me So I follow the nutrition movement a lot and Bulletproof has been a brand that I've been seeing everywhere since I moved to LA Everybody follows the Bulletproof diet, the high fat, low carb diet um, There's a lot of new research and I've read a lot of research novels saying that fat doesn't actually make you fat Which is completely true, the only thing that makes you fat is excess calories Essentially what this is, it's like 
cashew butter with vanilla and sugar and coconut and just everything that's good in life put into a bar. This was like to the point that I screamed when I ate it, photographed the empty wrapper, posted it on Instagram, and then went to the store to buy more. That's how much I love these things. Just putting it out there, not sponsored by them. I discovered kombucha in like 2010 when nobody drank it, when the damn bottle was like $5.99 in Canada. I drink multiple kombucha a day. It is just my life. It is my religion. I worship kombucha. Anyway, just wanted to share that this is my favorite kombucha. I don't know if they sell it in other states apart from California, but if you live in LA, the high country kombucha is the best kombucha that I've ever tried because it has less sugar than the GT's kombucha. So this is a really good brand of kombucha if you've ever seen it because I know the kombucha market is so oversaturated nowadays, but seriously it is. I turned 21 in June. Um, Woohoo. I discovered this thing in Air One, which I just have to share because if you're over 21, you're gonna probably appreciate this. This is basically a hybrid of kombucha and beer. Um, so this is essentially kombucha, but it has a higher alcohol level and you have to be over 21 to purchase it. I prefer this to like the normal things that people drink. Like I don't drink beer, I don't drink liquor. So I prefer to drink something incredibly strange like this. Um, Caveman is a brand that I've recently been trying out. They have these really good chocolate, kind of like those nut protein bars, do you know what I mean? Like they just have the nuts glued together and they're super convenient, whatever. But they also have these protein jerky bites. Sun-dried tomato and kale and the applewood smoked barbecue flavors are personally my favorite. Why? I, okay. Recently, I was in London and I found my absolute favorite cosmetic product in the entire damn universe that I have not been able to find for a year because it's sold out every single time I look for it. Um, this is a MAC lip liner in the shade Boldly Bare and it's what's on my lips right now. Just basically, this is the best lip liner ever. I can't describe the color other than it is just perfect. It's like your natural lip color, but better. Uh, I cannot not mention my friend Mimi Icon's new book. To me, she's almost like a mentor in so many ways, so I hope that I'll be able to see her soon. Mimi, if you're watching, I love you and I miss you so much. Many of you probably know that she wrote a book called The Bingo Theory, and I waited for this book for so long. A Revolutionary Guide to Love, Life, and Relationships. Basically, it talks about it's the yin and yang of how we always need to be balanced with our male and female energies despite our characters and despite our partners. Um, basically, it's an incredible book. I highly recommend that you purchase it or read it. You know people like to give out advice a lot. People like to be like, you should do this, 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 this. A lot of the times people are giving this advice and leaving a lifestyle that is so contradictory to the advice that they're giving. So what I thoroughly believe is that you should only take advice from people whose lives you respect and whose you want to emulate. Um, and Mimi is a person that whenever I think of a good relationship, a healthy relationship, I think of Mimi's relationship with Alex. Um, it's a they're an example that I bring up to my parents and my friends and everybody on a day-to-day -day basis. So to me, reading a book about relationships and life and love from a person whose relationship I admire and respect is a whole other level, I think, of education, so. As always, you guys know, I am obsessed with music. Check out my SoundCloud. I made a playlist on SoundCloud called Party Bitch or Birthday Bitch or something like that. And basically, it just has every single song that I would play to someone if I want them to dance. So it's a bunch of my favorite songs. Fashion-wise, the new collection by For Love and Lemons has been my absolute favorite. I can't even describe to you guys how much I love every single thing that they make. I walk into their showroom and I'm like, how did you even do this? It's like every single piece of clothing is a work of art that is so beautiful in its own way. So this is one of the dresses that I have for them. It's just so cute, it reminds me of my childhood. And the fabrics and the quality is amazing on For Love and Lemons. So my friends, that, oh, no! So you know those things when you go to the grocery store and you always look at them and you're like, wow, that's a weird product, I wonder what that tastes like, but you never actually buy it. Okay, well I had the guts to buy this product the guts because there's probiotics in it but I'm bummed. I think I got like ascended into the cosmos because it tasted just I can't even describe given these little pots I have them for breakfast they're so expensive but they're so good and I don't think you can get them anywhere aside from Southern California but if you live in Southern California you have to literally promise me right now that you're gonna try this yogurt if you, if you also happen to be Russian and live in Southern California the best thing I can relate it to is which is like sweet cheese with raisins. It's this thing that Russian kids eat. It's just probably not that good for you. But this is like the, and it's made with figs. It's just so good, it's so good. Please promise me you're gonna try it. If you live in Southern California, just promise me right now that you're gonna try it. All right, my friends, so that is all that I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I'll catch you guys next time. My cat is depressingly looking out the window and thinking, when is she ever gonna let me go?